the Queens County Supreme Court criminal term has become the first in the state to be upgraded with the latest hybrid courtroom technology. This courtroom modernization initiative, first conceived by former Administrative Judge Joseph A. Zayas and the late Queens District Attorney Richard Brown, was shepherded to completion by the current Administrative Judge Donna Marie E. Golia and Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz. The completed project has resulted in the modernization of all 24 courtrooms within the building. The project was years in the making and required the close collaboration between the OCA and the Queens County District Attorney. As a result of the COVID-19 emergency, the project was put on hold, but it highlighted the fact that social distancing and virtual or hybrid hearings had quickly become the norm. The project team, with the support and approval of OCA and the Queens DA, pivoted to a new design that would meet the current and future needs of all court users. Under the leadership of Judge Golia, the project was managed by Chief Clerk William Reyes and Michael Chung, the technical manager, who was assisted by Cami Ferro, the network system engineer, as well as their very capable technical staff. Judges absolutely love the new technology, but I think what I love most about it is that it really um, helps us provide access to justice in that it makes um, the ability to hear and see the witnesses so much um, easier and clearer for the judges, the attorneys, um, the witnesses, the jurors, for everybody involved. And so for me, when it, it, it provides that level of access to justice, it really helps us deliver our mission, which is uh, timely and efficient justice for everyone. Uh, the CMI project has been an ongoing project for the last two plus years, if not longer, and I'd really like to credit Michael Chung and his team and my administrative team for the work that was involved. I've been in the court system for about 20 years, and for the first time I feel like we're not behind the curve with technology, we're actually uh, ahead of it, which is great. Uh, I happen to be deaf in one ear. Uh, it's not anything that's obvious to anyone, and Murphy's Law, uh, typically the witnesses that would come into my courtroom, would be on the left-hand side, my deaf side, and with all of the audio improvements that have occurred, this is a non-issue for me. There's speakers everywhere, uh, speakers that I can use, uh, on, the, on the bench, so I can hear everything all the time. The sound system that has been put in this place uh, is second, second to none. We now have jurors that have individual monitors, and it allows them to see close up what the evidence is. And additionally, we have the, uh, the monitors that are on the wall from the, um, for, for the court system that have taken the public to another level and have brought them into this system as well and seeing exactly what's going on. As noted earlier, this was a massive collaboration. OCA's Courtroom Modernization Initiative team of engineers and tech pros, especially Nigel Cameron, Steve C., Vincent Bricobene, Martin Huey, and Deanna Germano, managed the design, engineering, procurement, installation, customization, and ongoing training and support of the entire program. Among the unique features and services are a BYOD, bring your own device, evidence presentation system, permitting ADAs and defense attorneys to present digital evidence from their tables using their own laptop, tablet, or smartphone. In addition, witnesses can annotate presented evidence from the touchscreen monitor on the witness stand, and counsels can show physical evidence using the provided document camera. Individualized, properly sized displays are installed for the benches, council tables, witness stands, jury boxes, court reporters, spectators, and court attorneys. These monitors enable everyone to view the evidence in consistent, high-res detail as they are placed directly in front of the users, resulting in a better viewing experience, eliminating the need to constantly turn your head towards big wall monitors on the side of the courtroom over long periods of time. The new technology that the Office of Court Administration has put into play here in Queens has been invaluable in our attempts to present evidence to juries, specifically in terms of photographs, videos, and audio recordings that as recently as 10 years ago would have been extremely difficult to transmit in a way that the jury could truly see the evidence that we're presenting. The opportunity to have witnesses in real time mark exhibits electronically and have it show up on jurors' monitors has given us a tremendous privilege to make arguments and illustrate points regarding evidence that we never would have had before. A high fidelity, low latency video distribution system based on NDI 
network device interface technology that provides the flexibility to support both in-person and hybrid court operations. If, for example, a case requires both evidence presentation in the courtroom and remote participants by a team, NDI allows the judges and clerks to choose which monitors display the evidence and which monitors display video of the remote participants. Upon request, additional monitors can be brought in and connected to the NDI system, providing a comprehensive visual experience by concurrently displaying evidence and video conferencing feeds. So the virtual aspects um, that we can use in the technology, it's really helpful when we're presenting evidence in a defense, at a hearing, or at a trial. The monitors that the juries can look at or that a judge can review as far as videos and pictures, it makes things very clear and I think a lot easier to understand. The virtual appearances are very helpful when um, a client is either in a residential program and can't appear or has a physical ailment and can, or can't appear or live out of state and can appear or maybe serving in the military and can appear because they're still able to attend their court appearances and do so virtually. NDI technology provides the flexibility to mount monitors in unique locations such as smaller courtrooms or areas without electrical outlets. Options include the utilization of the 55-inch ceiling-mounted monitors in the jury box that receive both the video feed and power via network connections. This type of innovative technology makes the New York State Courts the first organization to globally use 55-inch network-powered displays. By eliminating the need to install electrical outlets, the technology is not only cost efficient, but allows projects to be completed quickly. Multiple cameras are installed at the back of the courtroom, focused on the bench and the witness stand, while in the front, cameras are aimed at the counsel table. As an option, a PTZ, a pan-tilt zoom camera, could be used to display the podium or spectators. In the past, remote participants were only able to see courtroom stakeholders in small and angled images, captured by a single PTZ camera mounted on mobile video conferencing carts. The new configuration of cameras now displays high-quality head and shoulder views of courtroom stakeholders via Microsoft Teams. In addition, live video of the witness can also be displayed for jurors and others during testimony. Jurors will now be able to better access the demeanor of the witness, especially for those with poor eyesight or those sitting further away from the witness stand. The court is now equipped with an infrared assisted listening system, the newest generation of audio technology, which features advanced noise cancellation. This technology is further enhanced by the strategic placement of microphones and speakers to ensure proper voice pickup, clarity, and reinforcement. The infrared system serves a dual purpose by also enabling language access to the public. The second channel of the system can be used by interpreters in the courtroom to provide a private channel for users with limited English proficiency. The second channel can also be used by a remote interpreter outside of the courthouse if one is not available in person for a specific language. Under special circumstances, the technology can allow an interpreter to toggle between public mode, broadcasting to speakers in the courtroom, for consecutive interpretation, and private mode, broadcasting only the private channel on the infrared system for simultaneous interpretation. Additional channels can be added for proceedings that require interpretation in multiple languages. The addition of wireless microphones are now widely used by the judges for jury selection, by attorneys who walk away from counsel tables and to make opening and closing statements. It's also used by court interpreters who need mobility and flexibility in the courtroom. Updating the network infrastructure required the replacement of obsolete data wiring systems built more than 25 years ago. New network cables and additional electrical capacity were installed, along with the latest Ethernet switches and Wi-Fi access points. The creative use of ADA-compliant on-floor wire raceway has made cable runs in the courtroom neat and safe. In addition, electrical outlets with USB charging stations have been placed on council tables, a much sought-after amenity. New multiple 75-inch digital monitors have been installed in the main lobby to display the courthouse directory and court calendars. The contents are formatted in large fonts and contrasting color schemes for easy reading. 
In addition, plain language practice has been adopted to expand the accessibility of court information. The combined efforts, skills, and dedication of our legal and technical teams brings the New York State Unified Court System into the 21st century with the single goal of assuring an inclusive, easy access, and user-friendly experience to all who use it.